round of the competition, the first round of question and answer portion. That's right. This is where our top 10 candidates will have the opportunity to share their thoughts and perspectives, showing not just their beauty, but also the depth of their intellect and heart. Now, when we call you, please come forward, pick a question, and you will be given 30 minutes to answer. Now, seconds. I, oh, <laughs> sorry, thank you. 30 seconds to answer. Now, if an interpreter is required, the clock will stop in the translation, and your time is up once you hear this sound. That's right. Okay, ladies, this is your moment to shine. Ah, let's begin. We will start with Germany. Hi, Miss Jenny. Hello, Paul. <laughs> this is your question. At this point in your life, is your individuality a hindrance or an asset? Why or why not? I believe my individuality and the individuality of every person in this room is something that we should not only tolerate, but celebrate. I came here in order to bring a message to the people. When I decided to join Miss Asia Pacific International, I also decided to fulfill a moral responsibility to give back wisely and intelligently. Thank you. Next up, Sweden. Hi, Miss Sweden. Hello, Bo. Your question. In today's world, what do you believe is more needed? Greater compassion or more intelligence? And why? I believe that the world needs more greater, greater compassion because we need to... I'm sorry. We need to do it together. We need to celebrate everyone and just we need to open our eyes so everyone can be seen. And compassion for those who are good and bad, because everyone is worthy. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, New Zealand. show that around 40% of people feel worse about themselves after using social media. How would you use your platform to help address this issue? Thank you for that question. I believe that social media can be a highly valuable tool. However, sometimes we tend to overconsume knowledge that isn't necessarily helpful towards us. We tend to compare, and so I've been combating this and have been and continue will and will continue to do so by spreading positive messages to children, to all those on social media about embracing their individuality and accepting and being grateful for what they have. Thank you. All right, two more to go in uh, this batch of five. Next up is USA.
and KUSA. Your question is, if you could have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with any person, living or deceased, who would it be and what would you discuss? Thank you. If I can have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with anyone, it would be my father who passed away when I was nine years old. And I would tell him how him passing away has changed my life. But every day I wake up and I choose to be who I am because of him. And I hope that I'm making him proud. Thank you, Mr. Hanson. Thank you. All right. And now we'd like to call Belgium. question is, the world came to a hold during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, as Miss Asia Pacific International, how would you apply the lessons that you've learned over the last past few years to face the challenges of a post-pandemic world? Thank you. The lessons that I have learned is about sharing the moments with your family, with your loved ones. Because we were so isolated during this time and we felt all so lonely and I believe that this time we should learn to love each other more. Learn to love the people that you don't know, embrace them, and stand open to learning new people so that nobody feels alone anymore. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Belgium. And of course, uh, thank you, ladies. Uh, you may now relax backstage for a little while whilst we make way for the next batch of candidates in the Q&A segment. Mix Chanel, what's happening over in your area at the moment? So that was five, Dad, and five more to go in our first Q&A portion. Just as a quick recap, Germany wants us to celebrate our individualities. Sweden wants compassion versus intelligence because everyone is worthy. New Zealand thinks that social media is a valuable tool but can lead to overconsumption, while USA wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart with her father, hoping that she is making him proud, and Belgium wants us, after the COVID pandemic, to share moments with our family and to love each other more. We are off to an amazing start of the first round of the Q&A 